I think what it means to me is being able to communicate more efficiently with others. Communication around the world is very beneficial and it can lead to many opportunities in life. Hello, my name is Harrison Sheridan. I am a senior and I got the skill of literacy for Spanish. I think this means a lot to me because my dream is to become an international pilot and traveling around the world, I'd love to be able to connect with different cultures and different languages. I'm heading to Liberty University for a professional flight. So you're ready. All right, beautiful. Congrats. My name is Sol Ruiz. Um, I got the seal of literacy for AP Spanish. And this seal means a lot to me, being that it can bring me more opportunities in the job market. And for business, being that that's my pathway in high school. My name is Trey Brown. I got the seal for Spanish. And what it means to me is I'm more able to speak with Spanish speakers more fluently because I want to go into the medical field and obviously being more accessible to a variety of people is very beneficial. You know, earning it a couple years back more and now it's finally, you're getting to walk across the stage. Yeah, I mean, I've had it in my hands multiple times and Mr. Strickland, just don't take it away from me. How I'm dare sorry. he? <laughs> How could he? So being able to finally wear it and keep it um, is a, <laughs> I'm very happy that I finally beat am able to finally see by my hard work paying off and everything. So. Uh, hi, I'm Dylan Patterson. I earned the seal by literacy in Spanish. And uh, I think it's just a representation of my hard work and also a representation of the ability to communicate more effectively with all types of people. And I think it opens up more opportunities further in life. My name is Teresa Blanco. I'm a senior and I have, I won the seal by literacy for Spanish. And I think it just means that I get to communicate with people more of my culture. How about personal stories? Mine kind of starts like in middle school when I took Spanish 1 in middle school. And I remember watching this video from past seniors or past recipients of the medal and finally being able to sit in their seats and give this interview kind of represents a lot to me about where I've started and where I am now. And hopefully it inspires others to go down this road. And it's definitely worth it. Speaking was very difficult, but I thought the test was very different from other tests. I thought it was broken up into four sections that were entirely different skills that you had to practice. And for me, speaking was the most difficult, but yeah, I thought it was interesting how it was broken up. I'll say, how did your teachers best prepare you for that seal of biliteracy test? Like, what activities do you think helped you the most? Absolutely. The wrestling costume you wore. <laughs> <laughs> and those activities are going to be engaged. And very, very fun. Well done, buddy. On your part, to Students have a lot of fun. <laughs> All right, what, what else? I would just say the knowing of a grammar really helps you in this word. Increase your vocabulary and speaking a lot in class to each other. Spanish 3, we did a Socratic seminar all in Spanish. And with that, I felt, because you do it in English class and it's easy to do there. And then I kind of freaked out walking into that. And then once I had like all my notes and everything, just it kind of came out real natural. So yeah, that was one of the great things for that. Okay, Socratic seminars. CO test is probably easier than the mm -hmm. AP test. I remember taking yeah. AP test and being there. But for a while, and then the seal test, I breezed it through it like this. That's the awesome. The test was really long. It was like mm -hmm. three and a half hours. Yeah. The only thing you had in common was the parts, where it was all split yeah. up as well. I'll say, do you want to give a shout out to any of your level three, four AP teachers? Like they do on the announcements. Okay, so Mrs. Tricker. <laughs> <laughs> and Mrs. Varia as well. Yeah. Also, Miss Booth from when you yes, came here. Yes, yes. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't know if we could bring her up again. She's going, but yeah, she helped a lot with Spanish. Like, yeah. She was doing those Socratic seminars, yeah. I know. Yeah, I miss her. I think one thing she did, which is kind of a breakthrough moment for me, was the she did an exercise where it was, we had to record herself talking about our daily routine and being able to think of stuff we do every day in Spanish kind of helps you think in Spanish more when the things you do every single day are put in the words. Well, congratulations. Anything else from you, Mr. Stricker? Uh, 
So you should get the medals. We should have them in your graduation packets next week when you pick them up. So I'll have the medals uh, and the sticker for your... Uh, the stickers go on yeah, your, on yeah, your diploma. diploma. Yeah. All right. All right. Well, congratulations, everyone. Great job. Well earned.